Jeffrey McKean, a reporter for News Talk Ireland. He joins us live from Dublin. All right, so what's your take on this? Well, this is a huge visit uh, for President Biden. I'm actually coming to you live from Dublin Airport. I've gone inside because the weather here is so poor. Heavy, mm. heavy rain. Air Force One uh, touched down at 11 minutes past three uh, local time um, to, a, you know, you could say a little bit damp. Uh, and then also um, Air Force uh, Two and Three showed up too. Um, but huge celebratory feeling here in Dublin. Uh, and the president is now on his way, as you said, up to County Louth, up to visit some of his relatives up that way, uh, and also on to Dundalk. And then tomorrow he's going to be based in Dublin. And then he goes over to the um, uh, northwest of Ballinar. And in Ballinar, he'll be visiting um, hit the blue, it's more family relations. So it really is, it's the peace process. It's 25 years on since the peace process, but it's not just that. It's also everything. It's family and it's his mm. love of Ireland and the fact that he is um, perhaps the first Irish American president since John F. Kennedy. So a lot of love and he's been wanting to come uh, to Ireland uh, since the start of his term uh, as president. He's been wanting to come for a number of years and now he's had that opportunity. I spoke to the American ambassador and she was saying he was really looking forward to it. He also went into the airport fire station and met uh, a lot of embassy American kids who are related to the uh, American embassy. And he met uh, firemen as well. And he told a story about how he was rescued after his house got hit by lightning some years back and how the firemen <laughs> saved his cat. He always has a story. <laughs> so, so lots of stories. And, and you, could, you could say, uh, just um, this is a, a fun visit for him after we've got over the peace process, after he uh, did Belfast, coming to the Republic of Ireland. I suppose the fun starts. Uh, more than likely, we're going to see him drink a pint of Guinness. It will be a, probably a non-alcoholic pint of Guinness because we live in different times. And there isn't the same hysteria as there was when uh, Barack Obama came in 2011. A different feel to this visit. And remember, uh, Biden is an old man. He's 80 years of age. So he's not a spring chicken. Uh, Obama, when he came here, was in his 40s. So yeah. a, a different type of visit, um, but a lot of love. I know locals yeah. aren't happy behind me. There's road closures. There's serious traffic going on here Always. at Dublin Airport because everything stops for the president. Um, but yeah, no, it's going to be a really, really fun time over the next few days. He's going to meet the Irish president. He's met the Irish tea shop just there in the airport fire station. Uh, and, uh, and then again, he's going to be traveling across the country. I suppose the big news here is he's not flying his helicopter because of stormy weather. A Marine One can't fly in bad weather. So he's in the beast. He's in his big limo and his entourage of 300. So lots of road closures, um, his journey up to Dundalk and the walkabout will take about 45 minutes. And it's going to be a big party, obviously with huge security. Um, and um, yeah, no, um, a celebration really, a celebration of his, his Irish links. And, and as we can see there, Air Force One, when it touched down, a lot of excitement, but really poor weather. We're talking heavy, heavy rain. So, Joe, um, you know, they say here in Ireland, there's no show like a Joe show, uh, <laughs> meaning, um, uh, uh, you know, the, you know, there's I'm not massive, sure what that um, means. Fun. Well, you I know suppose what, Henry... how I describe it. It's an Irish phrase. I suppose it means it means. Um, uh, Joe is going to put on a show, and it's going to be fantastic. You know what? I was a member of the, of the White House Press Corps for years, and I think I'm just very yeah. jaded. But your enthusiasm has really helped us understand why that reception is so exciting. So for that, Henry, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right.